Welcome back to another episode of Mindful Moments. I am your host, Jada Lowe, and we back, we back, and we back, and we back. And I have somebody special here with me, but he's behind the camera, but y'all are going to hear him. Um, y'all have heard me say Devin. If y'all heard me say Devin or Derrico, this is the man with the plan, the man of the hour. So we're going to chop it up a little bit, and we're going to let y'all in to a conversation that we had last Probably about a week and a half ago. Yeah. Like a week and a half ago. Yeah. So um we were we were chatting and uh <laughs> <laughs> so um business wise, I'm working on trying to not side note, if y'all are ever watching these visually and y'all see me like look around, I'm trying to get myself together and figure out <laughs> like how she wants to say it. Anywho. Um, I'm working on when people ask me what my prices are, not cringing. Because when people ask me that, it makes me itch. And I think <laughs> it, it does that because I don't, I haven't really defined it. And I'm not really trying to step into that, even though I know I should. But we'll get into that. But um, somebody had asked me for my prices for photography, and I gave them a price. And uh, Devin was like, what did you say? And I told him. He said, mm, we'll talk about it. <laughs> we'll talk about that. We'll later. talk about that. And um yeah, so we had a conversation uh afterwards and if it's somebody that I know like who's on the same page with me like creatively or if like I just need to like spill my creative mind out, it's Derrico Suave Jackson. And so like I always go to him for like guidance and stuff and just help and just sometimes if I just need to get some stuff off my chest. <laughs> um but yeah, we were talking and uh, how did we get on it? We were, he was basically like telling me, um, you know, you're good enough. You should charge, you can charge this amount. Like you have experience. And the whole time he's saying that, like, I'm, I hear him. Like, I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> but at the same time, it's like, that's how I feel internally. And so we're going to go like back and forth on what he was saying and I'm gonna let y'all hear what he said to me, and then I'm gonna give y'all like some insight into what was going on in my head. Mind you, hear everything, I, I get it, I, I receive it, but at the same time, like believing it is what I'm trying to get to, to where it makes me itch less. <sighs> okay, so <laughs> this is where this became a podcast topic. Exactly. These are the words I said to Jada. Mm -hmm. And it's making me itch just thinking about it. You have to be okay with being worth it. It's okay. You're definitely worth the price. Yeah. Uh, I believe that not only for her, but like for, for people in general, if you have a passion and you've done the work in a particular area, like it's okay to be worth what you think you're worth. Yeah. And most of the time you're worth more. Oof. <laughs> Itching. <laughs> you're worth more. And it's okay to tell people, hey, this is the price. This this is what it is. Mm -hmm. Um, and be okay in your own skin to be like, I'm worth this. I'm good enough for this. And y'all, when I heard Jada say that price, um, he could have dropped that light if he <laughs> if he wanted to. I think I rolled my eyes. Yeah. I think I rolled my eyes. Because we've had this conversation. We've had the price conversation, like, numerous amounts of time. And I think what it boils down to, I'm just scared to, I'm scared to tell people my price because I don't want to, when it's time to deliver, I don't want it to be, I'm in my head because I feel like it, there's a possibility that it could need improvement once I deliver it or that it's not worth the price that I gave him he thinks differently but I'm trying to get to like just how I've been believing myself in myself like potting like believing in myself when it comes to like other things creatively with the camera okay so w Jada and I are currently working on a project right mm -hmm. and Jada is the editor I've shot it I've done all of the the administrative stuff like I've gotten the price and all that stuff and um I'll say that this project is a little challenging um, because of a number of factors. Number. Number of factors, but it's a good project. 
And, um, we're learning. <laughs> we're learning. <laughs> learning. So the part about not being okay with delivering the work and them not being satisfied is a part of the job. Yeah. Like, you have to be okay with saying, okay, if they don't like it, I just have to redo something. Yeah. And that's okay to have to redo something. And not taking it as a personal attack. That's that's the number one thing about being an entrepreneur. Like, everyone isn't going to like your first attempt. Mm-hmm. And if they don't, especially if you're in the, the industry that we're in, where the the product has the ability to be changed, because not all industries have a chance to change after the product is done. Yeah. So in our line of work, it's okay if they say, hey, I don't like X or Y or whatever it is, and you have to go back. It's not necessarily a reflection on you. It's just what the client wants. And we got a, we, we have, we share a, fr- a mutual friend who's a little bit younger than us, Kamari. Kamari is a perfectionist, yeah. like to his core. Um, and so if, it, if it's not like what he sees, he sees it I'm as not putting me. it out. Yeah. But me, because I've been in business at this point for a while, I've tried to teach him and you that as long as they are happy, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Not not my creative juices. Now, if we're talking about like what we're doing now, which is our personal content, mm-hmm. then we can be, you know, a little Get bit a little more, more be a little more anal. Yeah. <laughs> a little for bit sure. more anal about um how we want it to look stylistically because it's our product. Mm-hmm. But in business, it's about making sure the client is pleased with the product that they're getting. So the the you said something about the first attempt. Mm-hmm. Say it again. So it's okay if the first attempt isn't okay with them. Okay. It's okay. And and you don't have to take that personal. I think the a lot of the things as an entrepreneur is that my product is good. It's, the reason you came to me is because my product is good Mm -hmm. and you should be okay with what I deliver you. Right. And I think that's where the offense starts to come. Yeah. Because you're in your mind, you're like, you've seen what I can do Mm -hmm. and you like what I do. So why are you questioning what I'm giving you? Yeah. And my, my hiccup comes because like, it's so weird, but just the inside scoop into my brain, I know I can do it. I've done it. <laughs> I know I have the ability to where if it requires some stretching, I could figure out how to do it. Mm-hmm. But then when it boils down to it, I still see, I'm trying to work on not seeing me as the first attempt when I know mm. I can get to the final thing. Like I know it, but it's like what was holding me back is the remainder part in my brain that's like, that's stuck on the first attempt and by mm-hmm. first attempt the the part of you that's starting or like the part of you that's learning something new or the part of you that yeah that just that just started out like I know I've grown but part of me still sees myself as that beginning creative just starting out trying to figure stuff out so I'm trying to see myself now as an evolved more experienced version of me then you have to change your perspective to see the new you and that's been a task it's that's a, been the hardest thing that's why i haven't really like acted because i i'm still working and i feel like i have to be there in order to to take on clients that's crazy yeah <laughs> yeah see why we here? Think, thinking that i need to be perfect to get someone's attention is crazy that's why that's that's say that why. again <laughs> say that again Say that again. Run, this that, is, that, run that back, Turbo. That ain't even a business <laughs> concept. Thinking I need to be perfect to get someone's attention is wild. But that, that's what goes on to my head, to my head, in my head. Even even like, uh, I wouldn't say like to the extent of perfection, but the version of me that can do it, even if that version is current. Like believe, like believe in it. Are we still talking about business at this point? <laughs> yeah, it was business and personal. Because at this point, we're talking about. Uh, we're, let's just take this as a relationship tip. Mm-hmm. If I'm with my significant, so 
most of y'all, well, I'm sure no one knows because I've never told anybody on your podcast <laughs> that I'm married. Mm-hmm. I'm very married. Shout out to Erica. Yeah, Erica J. Uh, well, in, in fun terms, Erica B. But um, so me and my wife have been together 10 years, married six years. And the most cliche thing that we ever heard that is the most um, pivotal thing in our marriage is communication. Mm -hmm. And communication across all lines will save you a lot of headache. We can go back to this project that we're working on. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And if communication had been done well in the beginning. We would have avoided a lot of stuff that we've been in. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) For sure, you're right on. So... You know, all these business tips go back to, like, basic relationship inputs. You have to be willing to talk your way through it. And if you can talk your way through it, you can see the light. Does that count as, like, talking yourself through it? Yeah. Okay. Because you're definitely in covenant with yourself. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, we we both had to pause. We both had to pause on that. (laughs) Because if you're not That's in true. covenant with yourself to know yourself, That's how are you going to be in covenant with someone else? Yeah. And how are you going to be in covenant with your work to be okay with being worth it? Yeah. That's wild. That's good. And it's just the, I think I've got the belief down pat, but acting, acting on the evolved belief is what I'm trying to get is the process that I'm in now. So you said something after that conversation that was like, man, if that if those things ever happen, there's nothing you can't do. You said, I wish you had as much faith in my creativity. <laughs> oh yeah, I was talking about um so two <laughs> of the two of the people that that I feel other than my parents, of course, right. that I feel have the most faith in me creatively is Devin mm. period is my sister my <laughs> sister <laughs> my little Shout sister will be um something as simple as she so right now she's like big on the Kia K5 we're riding down the street I mean just something as simple as going to get lunch and she'll see the Kia K5 she'd be like oh she was like that's the one I want for graduation and I'm like who gonna get it <laughs> who gonna? she's like you gonna get it I'm like, where do you think this money is coming from? She's like, I don't know. She said, but it's going to come, and that's the one I want. Or we'll be, like, one time we were at Walmart, my goodness, self-checkout, and I was paying for it. And I said, where did you pick up all this stuff from? I said, did you look at, like, the price and stuff? She said, why would I look at the price when I got you to pay for it? Yeah. Like, the amount, <laughs> the, amount of, the amount of money that I'm going to obtain is like she already knows. Or, like, the level of wealth that I'm going to have. Like, I know it, too, of course. But, like, she is certain. Like, the level of certain. And, and it's funny because, like, she talks like it's already. It's already Like, done. the car is already just waiting in a storage unit <laughs> with pink interior, pink steering wheel waiting for her. But it's, and, and with Devin, too, it's like, like, you can, you're. You can do it. And I'm and I told him, I say, if I had the faith in me that the two of y'all had in me, ain't no telling where I'd be. That's crazy. So <laughs> thinking about that, how many people are out here doubting themselves when people have faith in them? Yeah, a lot, probably. Why would you doubt yourself when people have faith in you? I think uh, to a certain extent it's like it it can be a it can be a couple of things. Uh-huh. One, they probably don't see it yet. Um, and the other thing can be maybe fear. Um, as it relates to me now, before I just flat out, hundred percent honest, I just felt like I was incapable, just flat out. Um, but now, now that like I'm in a different headspace of belief in myself. I'm in a space where like I know it, but it's like act like you know it. That's what I'm that's what I'm I'm getting to the act right of knowing it. Because Ooh, I know it. The act right but of the, knowing it. The the acting it out, the act right of it, like it's like, come on, baby. Let's get let's get with the program. So man, it's so it's so crazy because 
And and I don't want to make it, make the excuse of saying like it's complex, but it's for me in my head it's complex because I'm in my head a lot. And people who are in their head, like you 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 get what I you get what I mean. But which is why this episode is important too, because it's important to have people around you who have more faith in you than you do. So that way, when it comes to getting getting there, you have people who are working in tandem with you to get you to where, you know. Not only they know you should be, but like y'all both know it, but getting you there. So, question. Mm -hmm. Does knowing that someone believe in you scare you? A little bit, yeah. Why? Because um, just being honest, I think I'm so, when it comes to, like I'm working on not caring what people think and not, thinking that people perceive me in a bad light because at the end of the day you have no control over how people perceive you Mm -hmm. but I say that because that plays into when people I feel like I've spent so much time trying to get people to see the good to where when people see it off the bat it's like like a culture shock like you like you really see that even like like I've been saying the whole time even though I know I can seeing people that believe it off the bat is different Because I'm so used to honestly trying to prove it to people Mm. or um, trying to make sure they don't see the opposite. So whenever, like I got four kids Mm -hmm. that uh, that I didn't birth that called me daddy and asked for money, right? Mm -hmm. And so when we go out to eat, I be like, what y'all going to do if this card declines? Because this bill is expensive. <laughs> what you're going to do is this card decline. And their response every time is, there's no way that you're going to be, you're going to let us embar- let us be embarrassed like that. Goodness gracious. What do you do when your reputation is on the line and people have faith in you? That's, in, that's so much pressure. <laughs> That's so much pressure because I don't want to embarrass myself. I don't, definitely don't want to. I don't do want to embarrass y'all, and it's like, oh, you see, that's like, ew. there's no way you would embarrass us like that. There's no way. As as our dad, there's no way. There's there's absolutely absolutely no way. No way. I we know it. it um, ain't no way in the world. We know you're not gonna do Goodness this. Goodness gracious, the reputation is crazy. The rep is crazy. But that's how I feel about you. Like, I know if I send Jada a file of videos, there's no way she's going to embarrass me. <laughs> <laughs> but I know because I know what's in you. Mm-hmm. And I know that the way your brain works, it's all going to come to life. I got another thing. Uh-huh. Half the reason why it's taking so long to get to this point is because I do so much up here. When Didn't I we just talk about it like, in one episode? Yeah, the episode before when I was talking about how I, how I plan so much, I literally have it planned out in my head, the things that I need to do in the sense of like creatively to build up my skills. And so when I don't have it all and people got the nerve to tell me they believe in me, I'm like, well, wait until I get all the technical stuff down first. <laughs> Man, so. That's one half of, the battle with everything because I one be of up my, here one of my, Right. One of my good friends, um, he's a sound engineer, right? Mm-hmm. And um, he he's nicknamed Superman because he literally thinks he can do anything. And I've never seen him say no to a challenge. Goodness gracious. And, like, I want to get to that level of confidence where if you ask me a question, even mm-hmm. if I have no background in it, mm-hmm. I'd be like, yeah, I'll figure it out. <laughs> That's what that's what I That's where to he to. is. Like, he's literally, like, if someone calls him, be like, hey, can you build me – a fort. A fort in my backyard. He'll be like, yeah, how much time and how much money you got? Don't have any inclination. <laughs> Never done it before. But I, I'm going to do it. Literally. Mm. Literally. And that's where, that's where I think we all should be able to be willing to strive to, even if we never get there, but willing yeah. to strive to that area where we're so confident in what we bring to the table that we can literally accomplish anything. Mm. And to not, e- would you say too, to not even have the thought of not being able to do it cross your mind? Yeah. So I believe that 
Well, let's just talk specifically with video. So, mm-hmm. um, even if I don't feel like I have the necessary tools to accomplish something, I believe that I've come across enough people in my arsenal to get where you know that. somebody. Yes. Yeah. So, like when you call, I'll be like, "Whatever you need, we'll figure it out." Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, he'll 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 say we'll figure it out in a heartbeat. And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in figuring it out. Yeah. Like every. And I, I don't know where I learned this phrase from, but every problem has a solution. It does. And it's already here. And every person is attached to a solution. Literally. Yeah. So, man, be okay with being worth it because you'll figure it out. That's, yeah. that, that's the biggest. That's probably where I am right now, business and creative-wise. Yeah. Being okay with knowing you're worth it because i know but being okay with it now means that i've settled into it Mm-hmm. and the crazy thing is you can't ever settle in because your worth always goes up yeah that's the thing Mm-hmm. because once you feel comfortable with saying those numbers out loud it's time for you to change the numbers yeah and uh, <sighs> inflation it's definitely here <laughs> yeah that's mm-hmm being okay with knowing that you're worth it in every season and, and the, through every season listen so the last church i played for the the name of the church is word in season and the 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 theme and the motto was for every season there's a word in season so word in word word so, gotcha. so for every season there's a word in season gotcha. okay so for every season there's a worth in season Mm. let's do that i like that there's a new worth in every season and we're gonna be okay with the new worth in every season because it's only gonna get better and better 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 gooder and gooder be okay with better. be okay with better be- say it again <laughs> wild be okay with better doing better being better acting better mm. better 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 Better. Yeah, we got to get Jada to sing oh on the podcast one day. Uh, th- thank you for tuning in <laughs> for another episode of my <laughs> trying to get me on the mic. Hey, I, can, I I don't know how to sing. I don't know what he's talking about. I can hold I can hold a nice note. That's about it. I'm no Celine. I'm a good alto. Let me stop. Be okay with being <laughs> worth it. I can sing. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes. I'm trying to implement now. Because as soon as you're okay with letting it come out your mouth, you'll stop itching. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it when he say something. <laughs> oh, I hate it when he say something to be right. You're right. That's another one I want. That's another episode I want to talk about. Just say it. Because a lot of the reasons why we had a problem, why a lot of the problems that we have now is because we don't say stuff. Just say it. You know how much power it is in saying something? The power in the say so. Follow me, camera. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Power in the say so. Yeah. That's wild. (laughs) That's in. Saying power in the say so because if if there's life and death in the power of the tongue, yeah, you saying it, you know how much power there's just as much power in saying it as it is in with with holding it. So say it because if you talked about the problems you really had, you could probably evolve. Okay, be okay, please be okay with being worth with, it. Be okay with being worth it. I'm I'm rocking back and forth because I'm trying not to scratch my neck. We're getting there. We're getting closer and closer every day. Have the uh, surround yourself with the people who know that you're worth it. Get you a worth it friend, and get you a a faith filled friend Oof. who just claim that you got all the money and creativity in the world to do what it is that you need to do. <laughs> I mean, you need to have a little sister. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Key K5, I got to get to work. I got to get to work. That's, That's why you got to be okay with being uh, worth it because yeah, she yeah. want what she want. Ew. 
the demands. I can't embarrass my sister. <laughs> Can I embarrass her? <laughs> but yeah. Um, mm. I need to go back and listen. Of all the episodes, I need to go back and listen to this one. Keep it in your back This pocket. is one I got to play over and over. But we're getting there. Thank, thank you for all your help. He know when I make this face, that means I'm trying. I'm trying not to. Trying. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, y'all, be, be okay with being worth it. And you are worth it. And be okay with it. That's how, that's how I'm going to end it. Yeah, I know you're capable. I love you, all that stuff. But be okay with being worth it. Because you are. Not act like it. I love you guys. Derrico, anything else you want to say? He done said every. He done said everything. He need. He done said everything. And that, make sure, done, make sure you, you identify your worth it friend. You, oh, no, that's good. That's make good. sure you identify your worth it friend. Yeah, that's very important. Cause some people y'all saying the worth it friend. Hmm. That hmm. ain't it. Negative. But thank you for being my worth it friend. I always got you. They gonna tell you the truth, even if you. When you know you need to hear it. <laughs> yeah. This is how our conversations go. I just try to, like, I know I, I know I should hear it. So just let it land. It's gonna be okay, Jada. Yep. That's, okay. that's all about it. It's gonna that's, be okay, it's Jada. Gonna, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> try not to itch. Be okay with being worth it. I love y'all, and I'll see you in the next episode. Juicy.